Hello again, this is Professor Jim Caffey, and this is the OpenStax Astronomy Free Textbook Lecture for Chapter 19 on Celestial Distances. This is a big globular cluster. We have a couple hundred of these shaped like a basketball with old stars in them surrounding the Milky Way galaxy. Here is Venus transiting the Sun. Venus is that dot up there, and I saw this in 2012. A radar telescope in California, part of NASA's Deep Space Network. We can use triangulation to determine distances to objects you can't otherwise reach. Parallax can be described as the apparent shift in position of an object. And the way we describe parallax is to take a thumb and close one eye and see what you can cover up. And then flip eyes and something else gets covered up. And what moves? Your thumb or that object? Or is it a change in position? And so that is parallax. Here are some great objects in the constellation of Orion in the winter sky. Beautiful stuff. The HR diagram, Hertzsprung Russell diagram, um, is very, very important. And here is a plot on the HR diagram of stars measured by two space satellites. And they got a very good HR diagram from this. That big band in the middle is called the main sequence, where the sun is, normal stars. A Cepheid light curve is a yellow supergiant star that pulsates in and out. And uh, one pulsation is a few days, and it gets brighter and dimmer, and a very important star. Henrietta Levier worked as an astronomer at Harvard College, and her and uh, most of her female colleagues and classmates uh, studied variable stars, Cepheids, the Magellanic Clouds. They did groundbreaking work as astronomers. The Large Magellanic Cloud is a nearby satellite galaxy. It is irregular in shape and has some gas and dust in it. We can look at Cepheids to measure distance, and we have some equations that go along with that and can help us hit distances. With Cepheid variable stars, there is a period luminosity relation. And so these will go in a straight line, and the longer the period, the pulsation period, the brighter those Cepheus get because they get bigger. They get really big and shrink back down over 80 days. And that's about as far out as we go as 80 days. Luminosity classes are for bigger stars, giants, and supergiants. And that's going to do it for Chapter 19. Thank you for this short lecture.